In April 2017, Niang Yang left Tsinghua University, where she had stayed for 10 years, and became the first Shirley M. Tillman Lifetime Chair Professor in the Department of Molecular Biology at Princeton University. Shirley M. Tillman is a world-renowned molecular biologist and the first female president of Princeton University in more than 200 years. Such a title is considered unique among American professors. Prior to this, Niang Yang's reputation had long been known to the public beyond the scientific community. Before she was 30 years old, she graduated from Princeton and returned to teach at Tsinghua University, becoming the youngest professor at Tsinghua University. Since then, her scientific research achievements have been even more impressive. Since 2009, she has published 19 papers in the most influential international academic journals Nature, Science, and Cell as a corresponding author, two of which are cited by Science Top 10 Advances of the Year. A series of extraordinary experiences have made Niang Yang a hot topic of public opinion many times. Now, Niang Yang has made another important decision to return to China full-time and go to Shenzhen to establish the Academy of Medical Sciences. Niang Yang called returning to China her third dream. In her vision, after several generations of joint efforts, Shenzhen will occupy an important place on the world's biomedical map in 10 or 20 years. She also hopes to build a platform to support more outstanding scholars and make truly original breakthroughs. The high concentration of scientific research resources in China today and the environment conducive to research and innovation have helped Niang Yang decide to resign and return to China. Her decision to return to China has been appreciated by the Chinese people and the research community, and marks a new era for Chinese scientific research. So, how good is Niang Yang's scientific research? Why is Niang Yang's comeback so influential? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get stated. 1. How powerful is Niang Yang's scientific research? While teaching at Tsinghua University in 2014, Niang Yang's team analyzed the three-dimensional crystal structure of the human glucose transporter GLUT1 for the first time. At the age of 37, she conquered a problem that the world has not solved for 50 years. After the achievement was published in a first-class journal in the field of natural sciences, it immediately received widespread attention and praise from the international academic community. Many scientists have called the achievement a milestone in the field. In the field of drug research, if new drugs are to be developed, obtaining the structure of human transporters is a key and important part of the research. Analyzing the structural elucidation of GLUT1 is very challenging. Therefore, Niang Yang's research results are a great achievement. In 2017, she accepted the invitation of Princeton University and was appointed Shirley M. Tillman Lifelong Chair Professor of the Department of Molecular Biology. Due to her outstanding contributions in research, Niang Yang was elected to the National Academy of Sciences and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences as a foreign member in 2019 and 2021, respectively. She also taught at her alma mater, Tsinghua University, and at the age of 30 became a young PhD supervisor in China's most famous university. She attributes all her efforts to luck. This kind of luck will also accompany her to return to China to realize her third career dream and do more original research and innovation to give back to the society. 2. Why did she return to China? When Niang Yang left Tsinghua University to go to Princeton University, she hoped that the new environment would bring her more pressure and inspiration, so that she could make new breakthroughs in scientific research. Moreover, she has not cut off the connection with Tsinghua University, and has played her due role in promoting international cooperation between the two universities. In the United States, she has completed more research and innovations in this field, but she belongs to a new generation of Chinese people who hope to return to the embrace of the motherland and lead her country to the international level in terms of future research and innovation in this field. At the same time, she also looks forward to supporting more outstanding scholars in the motherland by creating a new research platform. For a long time, China's policy has been to support talents to study abroad, encourage them to return to China after graduation, and at the same time give them the freedom to choose independently. 
and by broadening the space for career development in China, China has attracted many outstanding overseas students and scholars to return to China for employment or start a business in the past 10 years. From the late 1970s to the present, the number of Chinese students studying abroad has reached 5.86 million, and about 85% of them finally chose to return to China for development. Nying Yang's return is an example of China's thirst for talent, its emphasis on talent, and its excellent career development opportunities. For a scientist, it is natural and reasonable to choose the most suitable scientific research environment to achieve innovation and breakthroughs in the professional field. We believe that Nian Yang also has her own sufficient reasons for making various choices at different stages of life, which should be respected. In recent years, more and more overseas Chinese scientists have chosen to return to China. In 2021, more than 1,400 Chinese scientists gave up their jobs in American academic institutions or companies and returned to China, an increase of 22% over the previous year. There are also many top scholars who came to China from Britain, Japan and other places. The reason why talent returned is more attracted by China's overall environment that encourages innovation. The soil is more fertile, the sun is more abundant, and the vitality displayed by the entire forest is naturally more vigorous. At the same time, it is also an objective fact that the research environment in the field of innovation in the United States is deteriorating. The Wall Street Journal recently reported that a growing number of Chinese-American scientists and engineers are abandoning tenure at top U.S. universities for China or elsewhere, and that an increasingly hostile political and racial environment is one reason for this trend. Washington's wrong decision to promote decoupling from China has forced itself into a vicious circle. The huge uncertainty of its policy and the impact of malicious censorship and suppression of Chinese scholars are making more and more scientists feel uneasy. 3. China's National Talent Strategy As competition becomes more global, the success of nations in any arena will depend on their ability to attract global citizens with technology and R&D capabilities, and use their skills to rebuild stronger and better nations and societies. In order to better realize the talent power strategy and establish the scale and prestige of China's talent system, in recent years China has been vigorously attracting overseas Chinese and top foreign talents from world-class universities while vigorously attracting return talents. Their arrival will be the cornerstone for coping with problems arising in future development and maintaining China's growth momentum. In the post-epidemic era, more outstanding scholars and talent still hope to continue to seek better quality of life and career prospects around the world. These are the two key reasons driving the CAGR of 2.4% in global relocation. From the experience of the pandemic, health and safety are the top considerations for global talent migration. At the same time, the war for talent has become a new way of international competition. China insists on continuously expanding and improving the policies and various welfare benefits for foreign talents. Just like Nian Yang, return to Shenzhen, it seems that China is willing to invest a lot of money and money for talents like her to promote its scientific research goals. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comment section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.